بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the writing of unit 2 but before we do that let's revise what we previously, previously took in the speaking lesson if you remember working groups discuss how a family can live off the grid in your country and use the chart to make notes so we filled this chart public utility, the local electricity supply, cooking, heating, gas, locally, local water supply, and then we said which is the easiest. So, the, of course, this is my own answers, my own opinion. So I thought that the easiest is the, uh, the hardest was the not having a locally water supply, and the easiest is not having a cooking gas. But about the alternative, I said that we can fuel motor generator, firewood, and there's no alternative for the local water supply. The most challenging aspect, aspect providing the alternative and getting the wood and uh, the local water supply, everything is challenging when you are not having water at your house. For today's objectives for the writing lesson, find, uh, find what the family used to do that was not green. So what did the family do that was not green? Write the family way. To change the practice, uh, write the benefits of changing the family practice, list the disadvantages of changing family practice, write examples for the conjunctions, linking words, write examples for the combined clauses and sentences. So when you look at the picture here, what do you see here? Yes, a water bottle, a uh, milk carton, and a bottle of ketchup. So what types of packaging are illustrated in the pictures here? What kind of, what types of packaging here? Carton and plastic packaging here. So how green such packaging is? Is this, is this packaging green enough or not? How green is, uh, uh, how green is such packaging is? So we have levels of green, now we know. So we're asking here, how green such packaging is. Can we be relatively green by changing some of our practices as consumers, even if we don't fully live off the grid? Can we change something that we do as consumers to change at least relatively the level of our greenness, let's say? Again, can we be relatively green by changing some of our practices as consumers even if we don't fully live off the grid. Can you change some of your habits, maybe bringing your own bag rather than taking plastic bag from the uh, grocery shop or uh, anything else? So you have to ask yourself that question. You're going to read an essay about environmentally friendly consumer practices. Read the title and speculate or predict the kind of information you expect to find. Again, you're going to read an essay about environmentally friendly consumer practices. Read the title and try to speculate or try to predict the kind of information you expect to find in that article. Exercise A here before we read, how important is packaging for you as a consumer? So now we know that the article focuses on uh, packaging our food. Again, how important is packaging for you as a consumer? Are you attracted to things that are packaged nicely? Why or why not? Of course, we are attracted. If an item is packed, uh, packed uh, nicely, of course, we, it will attract us. Read the essay and find out the following. What did the writer's family used to do that was not green? What did they do that to change that practice? What were the benefits? What, uh, were there any disadvantages? Number two here, what is your view as a reader? Are ideas and information presented clearly? Does the writer provide ex ex explanations, examples, or reasons directly? Does the essay fulfill your expectations in relation to the title? And there are more questions, but before we do that, let's get to the article here. Going green going green. So this is the title of the article here. Can you try to predict or speculate some of the information maybe you're going to find in this article just from reading the title going green? I think yes because this whole unit 
this whole unit's theme is going green. So it's about saving the environment and what that entails. So uh, let's listen to the article here together. I realized how sensible going green was when I started noticing the amount of waste accumulated from all the packaging. We're a family of three and we manage to accumulate a bag full of recyclable waste every day. We are careful to use a special disposal unit for recyclable materials, but we are not sure it is always effective. Is it actually recycled? We decided to search for options. We found out that there were many stores near the central market that sold goods by weight out of large canisters or burlap bags. Rice, beans, flour, sugar, oil, butter, cheese, and a lot more are available off the counter, free of packaging. When we compared prices, we decided to never look back. A lot of time, money, and resources are invested in packaging as a way of making the product more attractive for consumers. Glossy wrappers, beautifully designed boxes, vacuum-wrapped coffee, plastic containers, colorful lids, and a lot more, have a magnetic effect on buyers. We, on the other hand, have to label and fill our own containers, before we can put away our shopping. But, we make better use of covered space, spend a lot less, and protect the environment. You should try it. So we can see here in this article, this family is raising the, uh, the question here, is it actually recycled? That when we put the uh, trash uh, in the recycling bin, is it actually recycled? He says here, we're a family of three and we manage to accumulate a, a bag full of recyclable waste every day. So every day, a, ba a bag full of recyclable waste. So they ask the question, is it really recycled? So this question made them uh, change their attitude uh, uh, towards the recycling uh, idea. Is it actually recycled? That's what uh, that way made them try to look for an alternative. We decided to search for options. We found out that there were many stores near the uh, central market that sold goods by weight of large uh, considers or burlap bags. So uh, they decided to change their attitude going green, let's say, here. So read the essay and find out the uh, following. Read the essay and find out the following. What did the writer's family use to do, uh, used to do that was not green? What did they do to change that practice? What were the benefits? Were they any disadvantages? Again, what did the writer's family use to do that was not green? What did they use to do that was not green from the article? Buying packaged products. Buying packaged products. That what they thought that it wasn't green uh, enough. Uh, what did they do to change that practice? So when they decided to change, when the uh, question arises that is it really recycled and they decided to change some things, what did they do? Let's see the answer here together. They went to stores near the central market that sold goods by weight out of large considers or burlap bags and were free of packaging. So they decided to go to a place that uh, there was no packaging for food. They just take it from the burlap bags immediately. Again, they went to the st to stores near the central market that sold goods by weight out of large considers or burlap bags and were free of packaging. So this is the whole idea, free of packaging. What were the benefits? What were the benefits of this change? So they decided to change the way they shop, let's say. What were the benefits of this change? To make a better use of cupboard space, spend a lot less and protect the environment. So more space in the cupboard, Spend a lot less, it's cheaper of course, if you buy it from the, from the uh, burlap bag. And also the main reason is to protect the environment. What about the disadvantages? Were there any disadvantages from this uh, action, let's say? Let's check the answer here together. Of course, they had to label and fill their own containers before they can put away their shopping. 
again, they had to label and fill, on, uh, fill their own containers before they can put away their shopping. Number two, what is your view as a reader? Are ideas and information presented clearly? Of course, this is your own opinion. Are uh, the ideas, as it says here, are the ideas and information in the article presented to you clearly? Are they all obvious for me? Yes, they are. Number two, does the writer provide explanations, examples, or reasons directly? Does he, in the article, does he provide explanations and reasons directly? Yes or no? Of course, yes, he, uh, uh, yes, he does. Does the essay fulfill your expectations in relation to the title? The title is, if you remember, is Going Green. Does, uh, your, does again, the question, does the essay fulfill your expectations in relation of the title? When you read the title, did you expect that this kind of information is in the article or not? For me, yes, of course, because the whole article is about going green, finding a greener alternative. So the answer is yes. Number three, look at the essay again and write which person is used in each paragraph. I, you, he, or she, and so on. What is the effect? And, the quest and question number four, notice which paragraph or paragraphs do the following. Provide the writer's view and or opinion. Provide objective information and or view. Set the scene. So again, number three, look at the essay again and write which person is used in each paragraph. I, you, he or she, and so on. And what's the effect? Number four, Number four, notice which paragraph or paragraphs do the following. Number one, provide the writer's uh, view and opinion. Two, provide an objective information and or view. Or the last one to set the scene. We have paragraph one, two, or three. So we'll be listening again to the article to answer these two questions. So let's listen to the article again. I realized how sensible going green was when I started noticing the amount of waste accumulated from all the packaging. We're a family of three and we manage to accumulate a bag full of recyclable waste every day. We are careful to use a special disposal unit for recyclable materials, but we are not sure it is always effective. Is it actually recycled? We decided to search for options. We found out that there were many stores near the central market that sold goods by weight out of large canisters or burlap bags. Rice, beans, flour, sugar, oil, butter, cheese, and a lot more are available off the counter, free of packaging. When we compared prices, we decided to never look back. A lot of time, money, and resources are invested in packaging as a way of making the product more attractive for consumers. Glossy wrappers, beautifully designed boxes, vacuum-wrapped coffee, plastic containers, colorful lids, and a lot more, have a magnetic effect on buyers. We, on the other hand, have to label and fill our own containers, before we can put away our shopping. But, we make better use of covered space, spend a lot less, and protect the environment. You should try it. So again, number three, look at the essay again and write uh, which person is used in each paragraph, I, you, he or she, and so on. And what's the effect? Number four, notice uh, which paragraph do the following. Provide the writer's view or opinion. Provide objective information and or view. Set the scene. So paragraph one, paragraph one. What's the answer here? Paragraph one, Com uh, combine the two questions in one answer. So, the first one is, paragraph one uses I and we. This is the answer for question three, I and we. And it sets the scene and gives the writer's view. Paragraph one uses I and we, use this uh, pronouns. And it sets the scene and also gives the writer view. What about paragraph two? Now that you get how do we answer this question, what about paragraph two? Can you tell me? Which pronouns and which of these uh, 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 which of these paragraphs do the following? Okay, let's see the answer here together. Only we and it gives objective information. What about paragraph three? 
that's correct. Also we, and also it gives objective information and also it gives the writer's view. So paragraph one, I, we, and it sets the scene and the writer's view. Paragraph two, we, and it gives objective information. Paragraph three, also we, and it gives objective information and the writer's view. Five, question five here, are there any passive forms? What are they used for? So can you tell in the article, are there any passive forms? So let's see the answer here together. Passive forms are used to present information or facts in an objective, detached manner. Passive, uh, passive forms are used to present uh, information or facts in an objective, detached manner. So of course, there are some passive forms. Number six, how are ideas and facts connected? The ideas and facts, how are they connected? Provide examples from the text. Conjunctions or linking words. Can you give some example from the text about conjunction and linking words? You can look at the text. Okay, let's see the answer here together. But and on the other hand. But on the other hand. What about combined clauses and sentences? combined clauses or sentences here. Can you give example from the text? Yes, are invested in packaging as a way of making the product produce for the product more attractive. We are not sure it is always effective. So these, uh, these are some combined clauses and sentences are invested in packaging as a way of making the, pro uh, the product more attractive. We are not sure it is always effective. What about pronouns? The use of pronouns in the article. I think this is an easy one, of course. You can give, yes, we, I, or it. Exercise B here, write a letter to the editor of your local newspaper, complain about your neighborhood, and suggest how it could go greener with a partner. Discuss the items below. Number two. Think about things uh, you do that are environmentally harmful. What do other people in your neighborhood do? What can your local council do to help you, uh, to help you go greener? Number three, use the chart. You can see the chart, of course. Use the chart to make notes and then use it to write your letter. Number four, exchange drafts or essay and edit. Five, improve, change and rewrite. So this is, the, uh, this is the chart here, environmentally harmful practices, go greener practices, steps our local council can take to help. So environmentally harmful practices, of course, you can write your own ideas, your own uh, views. For example, I wrote no recycling. This is some of the environmentally harmful practices. Uh, unnecessary car trips, leaving the electricity on, and you can continue the rest yourself. About go greener practices, use own bags when grocery shopping. When you go grocery shopping, you can use your own uh, bags. Uh, you can recycle, you can always recycle or decrease consumption of the electricity by turning off the lights or the air conditioner when you leave the room. Steps our local council can take to help. Of course, you can write your own ideas here. For example, I wrote to raise the awareness of going green. Maybe people don't know what will happen if we, uh, if we go green, what the benefits are. So it's good to raise the awareness of going green. And then you can write, as, write it as a letter. Dear editor, I'm writing to complain about the environmentally harmful practices of local residents and the uh, negligence of the council in failing to take measures to make our neighborhoods greener. The garbage is seldom collected and there is overflowing trash on a daily basis. When it is windy, there are plastic containers and cardboard boxes blowing around everywhere. I suggest the council makes it priority to provide recycling bins and so on. You can continue this letter by yourself. Moving to the writing corner, we have some tips for you here. When you write a formal letter of complaint, if you want to complain about something, how to write a formal letter for complaint. Number one, open in an appropriate way. To open your letter in an appropriate way, dear editor, dear Mr. Smith, and so on. 
Number two, state the reason. Why are you writing? And give a brief overview of the situation. So give your reason. State the reason. Why are you writing? And give a brief overview, overview of the situation. A brief. Don't take too long. Just a brief overview, overview to explain the situation. Use phrases to introduce and list additional points. So again, use phrases. Why? To introduce and list additional points. Like saying, first of all, or moreover, furthermore. So this is how you add additional points in your letter. You can say, first of all, moreover, furthermore, and so on. Use phrases to offer suggestions and solutions to problems. I suggest that it would be a good idea if one solution is and so on. So if you want to give suggestion for solutions, you can say I suggest that uh, it would be a, a good idea if one solution is and so on. The last one here, sign off an appropriate way with best wishes, yours sincerely or you can sincer sincerely and so on. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu la lanta astaghfirik wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.